Hey guys, this is Patrick from STH. Today we have some big news coming out of Intel. They are discontinuing some current generation Intel Xeon processors. Specifically, they're discontinuing the M series. If you didn't know, Intel has basically three memory levels that they support on their processors with different SKUs. There's the standard SKUs, which go up to one terabyte. There are the medium memory SKUs, which go up to two terabytes. And there are the large SKUs, which go up to 4.5 terabytes of memory. The big deal here is that that middle one, the medium, is going away. Instead, what Intel is doing is removing the L, or the large memory capacity SKUs, down into the same pricing structure as the medium tier is today. And what that practically means is that's, you know, $4,500 or $5,000 per CPU that is going to come off of bond prices. And this is a big deal because if you were to say, take something like the Quad Intel Xeon Platinum 8276L system that we reviewed, we're going to put that link in the description. This is almost a $20,000 reduction in that server's bomb cost. That's huge. And the big benefit of it isn't necessarily to the people that are putting 16 or 32 gig DIMMs in their servers. Instead, it's really to the people that want to go and push new frontiers and use Intel Optane DC persistent memory modules. The 256 gig and the 512 gig modules can actually get you to pretty high memory capacities. For example, we can't even use the 512 gig Intel Optane DC PMM modules that we have. We can't even use two of them with one of the standard Intel Xeon SKUs. By making the L SKUs more accessible price-wise, I think this is actually a great opportunity for Intel to push Optane as a story against the AMD Epic. This is a direct result of competition and customer feedback and customers saying, hey, you know, we want to use Optane, but we don't really want to pay that giant premium that you guys are asking for. And Intel's responding in the market. They don't necessarily have a core count advantage anymore. They don't necessarily have more memory channels per Numino. They don't necessarily have more PCIe bandwidth, but what they do have is this new technology, which is a persistent storage that goes into the memory of the DDR4 slots. And you can use it as either a you know, persistent storage, or you can use it as memory expansion and actually push some of the boundaries of memory capacities that we just can't get elsewhere. This is a huge deal. We're going to have an entire main site article that we're also going to link in this description. We just wanted to do a really short video to kind of share the exciting news. It's not often that Intel discontinues an entire line of current generation Xeon processors. In fact, I can't even remember the last time it happened. We've been covering the lines for, you know, 10 plus years. Hey, if you like this video, why don't you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see you know, what's coming up next. You can also check out what else we have on YouTube or check out the main site where we have a ton of great content that we're putting out every single day. You're going to love what you're going to see this year and beyond on STH. So hey, thanks for watching and have an awesome day.